Good kitten, internet. The kitten's right here. Um, I realized after recording all of that last night that you all couldn't hear the background music, which is a shame because the Elfin Secret Elfin Village's background music is my favorite in the game. It just sounds so relaxing. Isun's being a very cuddly kitty today. Um, speaking of today, by the way, for me today is um, the solstice, so. Um, happy solstice for those of you that celebrate that. And for everybody else, too. You don't have to celebrate it. It's up to you. Um, yeah. So, let's get back to some shining goodness. Uh, where we last left off, I believe we just picked up Elric, who's uh, yet another freaking archer. Which is actually what he is normally. I think we put him in our party and kicked out Peter. Yeah, we kicked out Peter, added Elric. Got it. Um, Peter needs to give items. And Peter... I wonder if I'm ever going to use that stupid shining ball. But if I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it on an archer. The reason being that it's a melee attack, and archers normally can't do melee attacks outside of punching. Um, Alright, and who's getting the power ring? <sighs> who has the lowest attack of people who I care about attacking? Elric does, doesn't he? I mean, Peter did, but um, don't care about attacks from them. Uh, Sarah does, actually. Huh. I would have thought Sarah, Sarah and Elric both have the same attack. And Sarah's higher level. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Uh, she's only higher level by one, and thief attack is not great. I'm going to give it to Elric just because Elric's the noob. So, there is something special about this coming back. Um, specifically, forgot can't exit that way. Uh, specifically, that the Protect Ring that I was talking about earlier is actually located in this battle. Let's go ahead and save state. Uh, turn down the volume. Really wish the music was a little more consistent on volume. That's part of the reason why the music ended up so low before. I think this is adequate, though. My goal is for people to be able to hear the music but not drown it out. I used to have this place memorized to the point where I can walk back and forth through here without looking. Alright. So I think it's this skeleton that has it? Uh, somebody has it. Maybe it's this mage. No? Who has it? That one. That mage has the Protect Ring. It's not even equipped, it's just held on the Dark Madam. So when I kill the Dark Madam, either the Protect Ring will drop and I'll pick it up, or the Protect Ring won't drop and it's because my inventory is full and it goes back to um, the deals section, or it won't drop at all and I haven't figured out if that ladder is even possible. Protect Ring's a fairly typical weapon. Anyway, we need to worry about those Skelly Bros. They're gonna hurt. A lot. Also going to hurt is the fact that my party composition is dumb for this. Oh, I forgot to actually update my spreadsheet, didn't I? At least this time I'm not having the spreadsheet on top of everything. Maybe I should reformat the spreadsheet where it fits over the game box art? Because, you know... Actually, hold on a moment. I'm going to update my spreadsheet. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, no. I just cast boost. That's a bad time to do it. Never mind. Everybody out of that stupid area. There we go. A little bit of fast forward never hurt anybody. Actually, it has hurt me many times, but whatever. How are you? Uh, I'm not going to play anywhere near as much of this today as I did yesterday. 
I have things that I wanted to actually do. And I have not done any of those things. Uh, just heal yourself. Poor evil Rick. Um, after this battle is when I'm considering promotion for characters, by the way. Um, because this battle is... I'm going to have multiple battles in a row. Or is it just one battle? It might just be one battle, now that I think about it. Huh. Uh, let's see. Jaha, no. Boost. Boost those three. Best part is they have very little ranged attackers. So my bird brain's relatively strong. My aside is freaking desert. So my plan, as I kind of mentioned earlier, is to go around the desert. Uh, forest is almost as bad as desert in a lot of ways. Main difference is that I think somebody else can navigate forest quicker. That might be post promotion now that I think about it. You're attacking my thief. Ah, oh, no. oh. Glad I have two healers right now, because otherwise this is gonna suck. Can't reach with Kazin. Hardly surprising. I mean, I have five freaking archers in this forest, and I can't reach with any of them right now. Cool. Level up. New spell? Apollo? Ooh, Rick, you just became real interesting really fast. So Apollo is a sorcerer spell. I don't think it the power protect rings or the power rings cracked right now, but I'm gonna save state just in case if it is. Uh sure. We'll protect we'll power up Rick May. No, it's not. Okay, good. So yeah, um, Apollo is a very powerful fire magic summon spell. Summon spells in Shining Force will work quite differently compared to, well, pretty much anything. I think they're all already boosted. Nope, Slade wasn't. And it's five. All right, Jaha. You don't gain any new spell. Oh well. And I don't think I mentioned this, but the spells are also randomized. As in, I don't know what level people are going to get their spells. Because in normal Shining Force 2, characters get spells at different levels. Um, for instance, Kazin gets fire magic earlier than any of the other wizards. But... The other wizards have better spells, so... Anyway. Um, so for the randomizer, what I did was that I randomized what level exactly you get spells at. But not like, hey look, you could randomly get a super powerful spell early on. Just, I took the minimum and maximum levels that you get and made it a random number between that range. Uh, excluding the ridiculous outliers, because there are totally ridiculous outliers for this. This is probably a dumb idea. I'm only hitting for seven with Bowie. Oh, that does not make me feel good. Bowie... Just learned Katon? Wreck, you crazy bastard. So Katon, which is literally Japanese for fire, um, is a ninja magic spell that the only person in the game that can learn it is Slade, typically, because he's the only ninja. 
and it's basically a fire magic attack that's one level higher than Blaze. So Katon 1 is the equivalent of Blaze 2, Katon 2 is the equivalent of Blaze 3, Katon 3 is the equivalent of Blaze 4. Which is powerful right now. So cool. Hit for three. Ah. Uh, and I can't reach Sarah without doing weird things. Oh, well, time to do the weird stuff. Because Sarah needs healing badly. That'll make some room for some archers. Uh, of course, I have Rick. Okay, so here's the problem with summons. Summons, un so normal blaze, you want to hit as many people as possible with the AoE. Summons, you want to hit as few people as possible. The reason being is that the damage is constant. You will do X amount of damage total. So, in this case, I'm actually going to do less damage because there's two targets than there would be for one. It's probably still worth casting, though. Also, you get to see what Apollo looks like. See, I mean, I'm still doing 10 against two targets, which is pretty good. Or I can kill the skeleton. I picked up a broadsword? Okay. So, yeah, Rick just became the best healer. And unfortunately, I still can't reach anybody because I'm dealing with desert and forest. <laughs> Let's get some arrow action going on. All of the positions are taken. I should have moved around. Crumble. Just crumble. Yep, you're gonna attack Bowie, and so's the other one, aren't they? And Bowie's dead. I really don't feel like going back through all of this. Just moving Bowie down below. Moving Sarah up above. Only hitting for three with Sarah, though. But Sarah is weak. Healing this way. I think this is a better option because that gives more space for the archers. I might just be screwed right now. I can do it from here, actually. And that will be just as effective. Apollo! Good job, Brick. You are a very weird healer. I still can't get Elric in position, but that's to be expected. Oh, I should have had Elric use the power ring. I messed that up. This time I'm gonna move around further. I might be able to take out that orc. Maybe. So didn't I boost May? Or attack boost May? Yes, I did. Okay. I think I can take that orc out in time. Yes, yes I can. Assuming the orc doesn't block. So I only have one orc attacking now instead of two. That will help. Unfortunately, Kazin's the higher level of the characters, but you know. Whatever. 
You're going to attack Sarah. Sarah should survive this. Yep. So I'm standing in forest, and Sarah's defense isn't that bad. Orcs also don't hit as hard as some other creatures do. I could do this. That would be dumb. So I'm moving up. Let's slide. Yep, I'm getting blasted. Luckily, it's only 8 damage. Also, he's in Apollo range. Why is there still arrow launchers? Oh, I boosted everybody else already. Okay, let's go ahead and save state here. Or do I want to go after you? Nope. Going after the orc. Dead orcs. An infinitely renewable resource. Sorry, that's from a role-playing campaign of mine. Your magic is useless. This is why Gerhalt needs to promote already. Unfortunately, Apollo's really expensive to cast. And it's the same as heal three. Mm. Worth it. Look to see how much da more damage that does on a single target. So much better. Stab. Mousy stabbins. Time for more stabbing action. Woo, stabbings. Haha, -ha, I dodgy chan. Okay. I would definitely prefer Elric to get the shot. And I think he'll have enough time to do it. Unfortunately, I can't do anything else with Slade. I wouldn't be able to do anything else with Elric either. Think I can take that? Yes. Yay, good job on your first kill, Elric. So orcs are relatively low level. A little concerned about them. Oh boy. I didn't notice I was in range. Ah, this is going to be a carnage battle, isn't it? I just went through a carnage battle, though. I didn't want to go through another one. Because that harpy's now in range, isn't it? Nope. Now it's in range. Okay. There's a lot of people hurt. I really wish I had Aura right about now. But I think a normal heal on Sarah makes the most sense. Take care of the High Priest, because I really don't feel like messing around with healing right now. What's your range? Is it seven? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, if I move May in, May can get attacked. And... We already know Harpies one-shot everything. Poopy. Don't have a choice. Plus, I, them being damaged isn't really going to have much of an effect. Um, hey, Jaha, can you just take care of that orc for us? That'd be great. Funk. Half of its life in a single spell. No big. 
I'd love to take care of the other half, but I can't. Might as well try. I need XP. Gerhalt's on the lower end of my party now. Ugh. Okay. This is the point where I might need to eat grass. Just because I'm getting hit so damn hard. Poop, I can't reach. I was banking on being able to be in front. Well, I can at least finish off the Dark Madam. Because, do not want. Alright, who's going to live? Let's give a healing to May. There's a chance May might survive one hit. Probably not, though. Well, no, not without full heal. <sighs> Who's the Harpy gonna take out? You cast Muddle? Oh, Dispel. That's clever, actually. It didn't work, so I'm very glad that you did that, but that's clever. Jaha, on the other hand, is level 32. He can take a hit. <laughs> I might just use him as a tank for a bit. Like I said, that's clever. I'll give you that. Nice setup for Elric. Try to take out this harpy as fast as we can. I'm one stupid desert. Okay. So, I really don't like this chair. This chair was basically just a cheap purchase, so I had a second chair while my partner was here. Um, this is not my primary chair, and it's not that comfortable. Kind of wondering if I should switch over to using desktop. Uh, my other desktop over on the couch. I mean, I could. Okay. First off, no. Do not want you to survive. I know I only gain one XP for dropping your hit points down quite a bit, but don't care. Second off, why is Bowie going this early in the turn order? Have I seriously gone through the entire turn already? This is actually an opportunity for Gerhalt to take out somebody. And Harpies are relatively fearsome targets, too. Good job, Gerhalt. Yay, you reached level 23. I feel slightly better about promoting you to Sork now. Hearing fireworks going off in the background, because of course I am. Uh, heal yourself, please. I don't have time for my healer. Did I accidentally use the wrong item? I must have. Oh well. Uh, how badly are people injured? You're down decent, you're down a decent, you're down a... Don't care. You're down... Heal up the awesome mage. So, I need to look up how I did the promotion for Master Monk. So, in normal Shining Force 2, there's a bug in the game where Master Monks actually don't gain any penalties when they promote. What's supposed to happen is that Master Monks are supposed to have less MP and more attack power and defense than a normal priest would. What ends up happening, though, because of a bug the way they did it, is that Master Monks just don't have that MP penalty. They get the same MP growth as everybody else. 
and also the attack and defense. And if that's the case, then I should promote the, my favorite mage to be Master Monk regardless. I'm currently thinking that I'm going to promote uh, Kiwi to be a Master Monk. But I am going to see what they look like, just because I want to see what evil Master Monks look like. Unfortunately, the second Vigor Ball is way at the end of the game. I can't reach. Really need to start promoting Arthurs. You can actually use healing, so here, have some healing. I have one heal and one Apollo left. Which is pretty good. Uh... Yeah, let's get you further north. Elric think you can finish off the arrow launcher. I don't even know if it's going to give you XP, though. Oh, it does. Sweet. Yay, level up. Plus one doll stats. Nice. Nice. I've got four enemies left, two of which are very lethal. I'm not grinding this battle. Just no. I want them to activate. Uh, let's go ahead and boost over here. Oh, actually, this is an opportunity to check stats. <coughs> so I'll be right back, and I'm going to update my spreadsheet. All right, and we're back. I shrunk the spreadsheet as much as I could that still provided information and was readable. Um, hopefully that means that when I inevitably forget to actually turn it off, it will not be as burdensome. I apologize. Ugh, I can't believe I did that twice. Where it was just on and on. Anyway. Um, point is, from the spreadsheet, it basically tells me that outside of the obvious, hey, look, my healer and mage are super overleveled, uh, not too many people are actually overleveled. Also, Rick is starting that climb. I'm just going to wait for the force to come back up. This desert sucks. Um, other thing I need to do is change this one. Do there we go. I had my formula slightly off because I removed uh, Peter from the force. Uh, honestly, can we heal yourself? Priest, I'm going to have you not waste healing right now. Slade, move up. What is your range? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can absolutely hit things. Got it. That Harpy's probably not going to do much of anything. Might as well to gain a little bit more XP. Oh, this will be so much better once I have the Protect Ring. So, off camera, after I pick up that Protect Ring, my plan is... Uh, it's cracked, that's fine. Uh, my plan is to balance everybody's levels a little bit. And by everybody, I mostly mean Kiwi. Skelly bro, your range is six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can hit everybody. Got it. Cool. I 
I was trying to move them out of the way, but the Dark Madam got two hits on before I got one. Grumble. Grumble, I say. Grumble. And that skeleton's in range for everybody. Heal 2 is going to be good enough. Brick can heal himself. It's fine. Kiwi leveled up to 31. What are you getting? Blast 3. Oh boy. Uh, Rick, how about you just move back there and heal yourself? You've got one good attack left. Or a few healings. A little on the dangerous side, but I'm going to do it. Kazin's not my best archer, to put it mildly. In fact, Kazin's by far my worst archer. It's weird. Dark Madam, go down the hole. And there's my Protect Ring. It's on Slade. Got it. Level up also. Always handy. Yeah, it's probably worth slicing into the skeleton. Slice. Only eight. Ugh. It protects my other party members. That's the reason why it's worth going after him back there. Not what I wanted to see, though. Suppose Blast 3 has that long of a no, it doesn't. Why would it? Why would Blast ever be a useful spell? That would make too much sense. Okay. Nice dodge. Good job, Sarah. Yeah, I think I'll just have Rick heal for the rest of combat. Yeah, let's heal up May. May is down 14. That sounds good. I've only spent a half an hour on this video so far. By the way, what position should I put my head in? This is something I'm always doubting on myself. You know what? That's fine. If they want to blast, they can blast. Blast doesn't hurt anywhere near as much as the skeleton does. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Come on, it's undead. Shouldn't healing spells hurt undead? Yeah. It's not gonna do much damage because I think skeletons are resistant to freeze. Yeah. They are. But hey, it's seven damage. 
That's better than zero. Um, I think this makes the most sense. Make the skeleton not be able to attack most of my party. Halt late to the party as usual. I'm gonna do three. A crit for three. At least he leveled up. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Because now the skeleton will go and kill. Oh, no. Well, that was lucky. Heal! I mean, the skeleton can still take a huge chunk out of Bowie, but Bowie will probably live now. <sighs> Let's take out the stupid skeleton as fast as possible. Gerholt's thing? Meh. I don't care that much at this point. Yep. Blast him. I think that should be enough damage. Yep. Good. 50 XP. Nice. Plus 2 MP. And you learn... Bolts! And that was the boss battle, or boss of the battle. Hurry, let's go into Creed's Mansion! Udler, can you see? No? Why? You're moving around as if you can see. Am I? Hm, maybe my other senses have sharpened since I lost my sight. Oh, I see. Bowie, let's go see Mr. Creed. Nope. <laughs> let's go see Mr. Egrass. All right, let's raise. And then I'm gonna update my spreadsheet really fast because we need to decide on leveling. Be right back. Oh, actually, let me. There we go. Because it's gonna be promotion time. All right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be slightly evening out the levels of my characters, and I'm going to get them all at level 24. So you can take a look up above my head right now at what levels all of my characters are. Um, it, basically, the lower end is 22, 23, and the upper end is 23, 24. I'm just going to get everybody to 24 really fast because I want... To start promoting this video because it's uh, problem is that I really want to know who's in Creed's mansion but I'm going to get my butt handed to me in chessboard which chessboard is the next battle it is going to be a posterior handing <sighs> wish I knew what the characters were oh well anyway uh, let's go into the special stage. Now I'll actually show you what it's like. Welcome to the Fairywood special stage. How quickly can you defeat all the hidden monsters? Now, set a new record. Best record so far is 5,999 minutes and 59 seconds. Are you ready? Yep. Set. No! It's the only time battle in the game. So, what we want to do... Is make sure we don't move around too much. Gerhalt can go there. And I have this currently equipped to Chester. Oh, right. I need to create a second one of these. I forgot. Uh, of course, I've already messed it up, but that's fine. I have time. Chester. Chester. Item, use a protect ring on self. I'm going to go ahead and save state so I don't mess things up too badly. So this is the protect ring. 
I think it's just boost. There's nothing special about it. But it gives Chester 25 XP, which is enough to level up. 2, 1, 1, 1. Did not mean to scroll that. 23 point something. 34. 27, 22, 27. Okay. Um, see, this is the only enemy is a bubbling ooze, which is from, you know, about now-ish. And we do it again. Would have been nice if I had people in position, but I didn't this time, so oh well. Once more, save stating because I'm using an item and items get weird. I think this will be three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's 15 XP. It's not the greatest. So yeah, I basically do this to level people up. Making three groups. And basically just rotating until everybody's level 24. That's that's it. That's all I'm doing. This is just an easy way for me to balance out everybody's levels. And yes, I am also going to be doing this to Peter. I just wanted to show a little bit of it first so I can show you what I'm doing. And yeah, I'll go ahead and pause this and continue on my own until everybody's level 24. Bye. And we are back the last one of these. Crack appears in the protect ring, but Peter levels up to 24. Everybody is now 24. Um, let's egress and go repair our rings. Also swap the party back to the way I want it. But everybody is now level 24. You can see everybody's stats other than Peter's up above right now. Um, I haven't updated Peter's, and Peter's isn't in that list because that's my force list. Uh, let's see, we're going to have Sarah rejoin. Relief is Peter. Item, give. Protect ring to anyone else. I don't care. All right. Now we need to head back to an area where we can repair. Um, being a little slower than normal right now, just because Isun's been coughing, and I want to make sure that he doesn't have a bad day. Bum, ba -da dum, ba -da dum, bum. Go back to Hassan, who has this handy dandy repair person. By the way, you never actually get a teleport spell in this game. Uh, make sure that the deals are any, not any different. They're not. Uh, I think I'm actually going to buy back everything except for the mithril at this point, because I actually have a place to store things now. Wait, I'm going to wait on that first, because I'm going to need it for other things. All right, first off, repair the protect ring. Yes. And then also power ring. There we go. Everything is repaired. Okay. Everybody is level 24. Let me just um, update spreadsheet really fast. 
All right, spreadsheet is updated. Now, let's take a look at our force, specifically members of the party who are, you know, the same everything. Let's start looking at our archers. So everybody's the same level at this point, so everybody should be roughly the same power. Uh, it looks like Chester has slightly... has a pathetic defense. Ah, oh, that's gonna suck. But he has the highest attack, but is otherwise very similar to Kazin. Ah, uh, I mean, if I would have to choose three archers... Well, Elric is definitely one of them. He's... He's a star player, if I do say so myself. Um, May is probably another one. So here's the dilemma. Brass Gunner, which is a promotion for Archer, is slow. Really slow. So I don't want a Brass Gunner in the back of the party. If I was going to promote somebody to be a Brass Gunner, it would either be Kazin or Slade. Slade having a higher defense might not be a terrible plan to promote as a Brass Gunner. Of course, I don't know how many more archers we're going to have. Um, yeah. Hmm. So the reason why I wanted to do level 24 is one, I want to, first off, let's finally save the spreadsheet. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I just noticed that I was trying to show stats and I had the spreadsheet off. So the opposite issue for once. Uh, let's see. Save that and make it visible again. Those are our archers. There we go. Um, so yeah. Basically, if I'm going to have a brass gunner, I want it to be somebody early on in the init. So I'm going, I'm thinking about promoting either Slade or Kazin to brass gunner. And I think I want Slade. So, hear me out. The reason why I'm thinking about Slade is because he has better defense. And... Brass Gunner gives even more defense. So, I'm going to have a defensey boy. And it's nice to emphasize one existing stat. Uh, the other reason is that... I, uh, I, don't, I don't want to use a Brass Gunner the brass tank on anything other than or silver tank damn it i keep doing that i don't want to use a silver tank on anything other than somebody early on in a knit and slade is definitely early on in a knit uh by a knit i mean the order in that the game puts people in so let's pick up our silver tank again give it to peter Honestly, let's go ahead and pick up the Warrior Pride as well. Not that we have any warriors whatsoever. Actually, no. We don't have any warriors. There's no reason to pick that up. Uh, Mithril we don't need for a while. I can always just keep it stored in the deals section. Let's do our first promotion. So, this is going to be promoting Slade. So, one of the things when it comes to Slade is that his portrait changes on promotion. There's a couple of characters whose portraits change. Um, it's Peter, Kiwi, Slade... And, uh, Bowie. That's it. So. Uh, first off, let's make a real save. And I'm going to make a copy of this file. The reason why I want to do that... Uh, give me a moment. Uh, wrong drive. That's the right drive. The reason why I want to make a copy of this file is so I never have to worry about... Actually, I'm going to do it in-game. That way I can always go back and do a comparison. Save state here. It's not it for today. There we go. going to delete the one that I didn't want. I did save state just in case if I mess up. Copy the file. Yes. Now we can continue this one and we'll back to where we were. See? That way in the event that I decide, holy crap, I definitely don't want to promote Slade as a brass gunner. I can edit this. So promote. <sighs> yeah. 
let's go promote Slade. Slade wants to be promoted to a to the a fighting class, right? I'm gonna make it promoted to the a fighting class for the title of this video. Yep. Now let me conduct the right. The light blesses Archer Slade with a class of brass gunner. The light. The light. It would be nice if I had a spotlight up above my head right now, but I don't. Slade was successfully promoted to Brass Gunner. Uh, nobody else for right now. So now, it didn't change his portrait. Interesting. I wonder if my portraits are going to get messed up because it's not the character, but the class. Oh, this might be really bad. This might be really, really bad. Anyway, we're also going to promote our ninja because I don't want my ninja to be left behind for, or sorry, promote my thieves to ninjas because I don't want them to be left behind. Uh, let's see. So here's the problem with not promoting ninja. It's I mean, the longer that you have a ninja unpromoted, the higher their stats are, and that is true. But we've already started seeing Sarah be left behind on stats because she's promoted level ups are stronger than non-promoted level ups. So if I'm going to continue using Sarah, I need to promote her now. Uh, Luke, I might be able to get away with leaving for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll actually only promote Sarah. Let's find out if this is going to be glitchy. Sarah wants to be promoted to the A fighting class. Sarah can be promoted to Ninja, okay? The light blesses. Thief Sarah with a class of Ninja. Alright, time to see if Sarah just changed portraits to... That would be Chester? No, Sarah actually has a ninja picture now. Interesting. Ha! Huh. Game's a little classier than I thought. But notice something. Sarah unequipped her dagger. There's a reason for that. Because ninjas do not use daggers. They use swords. And katanas. Um, eventually we'll have ninja-specific weaponry, but that takes a while. Anyway, we need to sell Sarah's Thieves Dagger. And also Slade Steel Arrow. He can equip arrows still, but... Uh, or those arrows. But... Oh, actually, I think I have a broadsword in my inventory already from fighting. But I want that Robin Arrow, dang it. Okay, do I actually have a broadsword in my inventory? Yes. We finally have somebody who could use swords other than Bowie. So yeah, Sarah's attack is now 51. So her attack has increased by five? Yeah, by five, because that's without a power ring upgrade. So Sarah's attack is actually now higher than Luke's. I'm thinking I'm going to try to... Uh, do I promote Luke now or do I promote Luke later? Ah, uh, it's difficult to decide. Oh, somebody else I'm going to promote, because I can, is Peter. That's right, Kiwi normally has a um, unique one, too. Peter... I want to see if his stats change. I've never actually checked. They shouldn't. So, cute little tortoise Peter is now a monster. Monsters are quite nice in a lot of ways. They're still one of the weaker classes. Uh, nope, no change in stat. That's what I thought. Okay. 
Do I want to promote it? Oh, yes. I want to promote... Gerhalt. Gerhalt has got to get changed to a sorcerer. Oh, I don't have the secret book on me. Let me go grab the secret book really fast. And all of this may be horrible mistakes, and I find out that the characters in Creed's Mansion are way better. But, uh... I mean, let's see. Just Mage. I need to... I and mean, Jaha's gonna stay a wizard no matter what. Um, and you'll, you'll notice that I have Peter on a separate line. I forgot to mention that. Um, Jaha's gonna stay a mage or a wizard. Uh, and I fully intend to promote him at level 40 because he's gonna reach it. It's not gonna be any problems whatsoever with that. Uh, depot, derive from the depot... Secret book. I don't actually care. Peter, hold on to it. The only way I'm going to be able to use Gerhalt is if I re-roll his spells. Yep, I'm aware. Which is going to suck. Oh, only having three extra bonus levels is not great. Gerhalt's MP is ha less than half that of Jaha. really hope his new spells are better because this may have been a horrible mistake. Oh, right. I want to promote the archers while I'm at it. Just nips. Because it is painful to use regular archers at this point in the game. Yep. Chester can be promoted to Bunt. Yep. Chester's going to become a Bunt. Bunt. So... I should mention that in Normal Shining Force 2, there are three points that you might want to promote at. It's level 24, which is generally right before you enter Creed's Mansion, which is where we're going. Level 27, which is usually right after you leave Creed's Mansion. Or level 40, which is um, usually for characters who can level themselves up really easily. You could actually try to promote later um, for any character. Uh, there is one promotion item that I don't have yet. Or, there's actually two, but one unique one that I don't have yet. Which means that if you wanted to promote to that class, uh, you would have to wait until that point. Which usually ends up being like 30-31, I think. 27 might still be fairly accurate. Anyway, um... That one's harder to justify, but I actually don't have any member of that class in my group, so it's fine. So the reason why I'm so desperate to promote my archers is that their promotion, either the Brass Gunner or the Sniper, allows archers to be able to shoot at range 3. You've seen all of the times where I go, I can't reach! That's why I need to promote them, and I need to promote them fast. Unfortunately, it means that their stats are going to be a bit lower than normal. And there's not much I can do about that one. It just is going to be the way it is. <sighs> this is right about an hour, so I'm going to stop it very shortly after this. Okay. So, we have Luke. I think... Ah, uh, do I want to promote Luke to be a ninja now or later? Um, Kiwi, who can level themselves up. Jaha, who can level themselves up. And Bowie. So here's the thing with Bowie. Bowie's not that bad at the moment. The promotion isn't really going to change much of anything. 
Bowie's going to have the same pretty much everything other than his stat growth will be higher. So I'm going to wait on Bowie until after promotion. Or after Creed's Mansion, I think. So we're going to be a little lopsided for a bit. Okay. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's also get equipment. That would help. Sell existing equipment from all of my new friends. The snips are definitely getting robin arrows. Kerhalt, you might as well get an upgraded upgrade from Power Stick. You know, Power Stick's actually a fairly good weapon, oddly enough. Um, yeah, out of curiosity for Gerhalt, that would be an extra four attack. And Robin Arrows. So you'll notice that I'm not, um, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, yeah, that's for everybody. Uh, I'm not trying to grind up. All I'm trying to do is get my party level up to balanced, and there's a good reason for that. I don't like over-leveling in this game. It makes the game too easy, and I don't want to deal with that. However, the reason why I have such an unbalanced force has nothing to do with how I'm playing, it has more to do with my party composition, and I don't want to deal with that added complexity. So I know some people are going to give me flack for grinding. Uh, that's my answer, just uh. So let's go to Creed's, and we'll save at the desktop kingdom. Because it's time. It's time for the hardest battle in the game. No, I'm not joking. This is generally considered the most difficult battle in Shining Force 2. The Shining Force 2 AI is particularly good at fighting this battle. I just realized that I'm missing Mithril over here. Was it here? I think... I think it might be on the other side of that mountain. I might be misremembering. Oops. I not mean to actually go in. Ah. The problem with the caravan, it makes it harder to search. I must be misremembering, it's just a Mithril in here. Doesn't matter, I can always go back and figure it out. I don't need Mithril for a long time, which is why I'm not bothering to rebuy the Mithril. Oh. Random battle. It's the exact same battle as before. I'm not doing this battle. <sighs> One moment. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Welcome to Creed's Mansion. You may go now. I need to talk to Fairy. That's Creed. Yes, sir. Look, look. 
Dum dee dum dum. Ooh, time to check the collections. Servant Goliath unlocks the door. Excuse me. So that's actually what Peter's promoted look is supposed to look like, by the way. Peter actually looks awesome promoted. Yo! Y yes? We've come to see Mr. Creed. My master? Do you have an appointment? Uh, what? No, not yet, but, uh... I'm sorry, but he's busy right now. Please come back later. I can't see Mr. Creed now. No kidding. Bowie, Peter, let's force our way into the room. Oddler, you're getting bold. But it's a good idea. As you're saying it out loud next to Goliath. Mr. Goliath, excuse me. Let's go. Meow. Teleported. How did he do that? You impolite kids, you can't go in. Mr. Creed is too busy. Go away. Bowie, on our left, that door must lead to Mr. Creed. Let's ditch this guy and go through that door. Bowie, let's do it. I don't want to fail now. Okay. Okay, okay, we give up. We'll see Mr. Creed later. Let's get out of here. Yeah, maybe later. No, don't go in there! That door is... What stupid kids. Whoever passes through this magic door becomes small. That is, anybody who's not protected by Mr. Greed. Goliath picks up Bowie. Now you're a part of the collection. Welcome to the desktop kingdom. What happened? Strange feeling swept over me when I entered that door. Then it felt like I was lifted upward. Uh, that's because you were. It's very difficult to explain what's happened to us. Anyway, we're very small now. Small? How small? Let's see. Now we're on a desk and it's very large, like a village. Exactly. Goliath! Hey, what did you do to us? Told you not to go in there. You didn't listen to my warning. You guys look so cute. Ha! <laughs> Bye, little kitties! But we cheer up. Let's look around this desktop kingdom. I agree. We can meet the Mrs. Creed later. Welcome to the desktop kingdom. So, you'll notice that we see more people with portraits. Ah, mistake. I see. I suggest you see King Pompey. He's a good man. See, we even get access to our little caravan still. The chess army is very strong. It'll be good training for you. So, this is what I meant by chessboard, by the way. Here's Eric. I was there during the disaster. I was looking for the legendary sword. I hate it here. So this entire area is a one-time thing. You have to get everything that you're going to get and talk to everything here. This kingdom was created, it was made by Creed. There's no concept of time here. Wait, does that mean that time's a character? We never get old, we never die. What's the meaning of life? Creed is a fine gentleman. His magic saved us a long time ago during a natural disaster. Devils can't use their magic to affect human lives. Supposedly it's one of their rules. Halt! I can't let you pass without the king's permission. So you can see the chessboard over to my left. It's a very strange chessboard. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's a 14 row chessboard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I did count 14, right? Yeah, it's 14 by 15. So it's not even a go board or shoki. It's just weird. Anyway, we're going to save it here. And we'll talk about the rest of this next time. 
Let's go ahead and make a real save. And I will talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!